Hello, so last video we left off uh, with production of this calcium cyanate. So, today we're going to be making calcium cyanamide. And that's basically by calcinating this solid. So, we're um, very high heat and without oxygen, and it's going to form the um, calcium cyanamide. Uh, so it's a little it's going to be a little difficult because it's going to be, it, it is quite high heat um, and also preventing the oxidation of it is always an issue um, but the first challenge is getting it out of this container because I want to reuse this paint tin um, yeah hopefully I can just ever so gently tap it out of there Yeah, it's looking good. It's also probably a good idea to uh, wear a dust mask during this because I doubt the the uh, products of this reaction isn't um, very healthy. Especially, you know, and there might be trace trace cyanide in there, which is never a very healthy thing. Um, Yes, the strap for my dust mask broke, so I just put a rubber band around it, but it seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> so it seemed to work pretty well. We've just got a sort of an inconsistent brown solid. Yeah, you, can, you, you won't be able to do this in a glass container without the glass container shattering. I'm not even sure a ceramic container you'd be able to get it out of. So, metal tins are, metal tins are the best. Alright. Now, we uh, get to grind this up. And when I say grind, I mean the blender. Oh yeah. Got a bit of a glad wrap layer to prevent any dust. So let's give this a Alright, sort of a pretty crap blender, isn't it? Alright, I think this worked. Oh, look at that. Uh, still a few chunks in it, but. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. That's about 290 grams of our mix. So now this next step involves heating the calcium cyanate to uh, output carbon dioxide and form calcium cyanamide. And in the original, well, in the Engager publication that we're following, he states that it needs about 750 to 800 degrees to make this happen and to do which to do this he um, builds a electric furnace of sorts to get it to about 900 degrees now I don't feel like building electric furnace um, so what I'm going to do is I've got this huge pile of wood here and that is going to be a bonfire tomorrow night and I am going to put this in the fire um, because I, I've, I've done this previously in, in that little household fire that we run and um, it I couldn't get it up to about 800 degrees but I found that the reaction happened basically past the melting point of aluminium so that's a bit shy of 700 so um, it doesn't quite but that's still, that's still quite high like my propane burners won't probably get to 600 600 to push so um, yeah so I've got a tiny hole on the side here I've got 150 grams of it in here so I'm gonna lid on um, 
because we do need to exhaust um, vents and gases out but we do need to keep oxygen out because at high temperatures we're going to form calcium carbonate um, which would be a useless side product so I'm gonna put this in bonfire and um, yeah oh, and one more issue we have is that um, I'm worried it's going to get too hot because I think calcium cyanamide sublimes at um, about a thousand degrees or so from memory. So it might, it might, this might completely fail, but hopefully this big, it's a pretty piss weak bonfire at the moment. But I think we're going to add more wood to it. So hopefully it should get quite hot and hot enough to drive the reaction. It's nicely in there, so hopefully it doesn't fall over um, and I'll find it again in the ashes once the fire has stopped burning. Um, I won't film it when it's burning because this bonfire is actually for a party um, and I don't want to be that weirdo that like brings out the camera and starts filming you know, his cyanamide while everyone else is having a good time. So I'll find it um, in a little while. Hopefully it works. Okay, it's really late at night and I'm filming this on my phone, but uh, there is our container. I'm not going to get it out because I'm worried it's going to oxidise. It's been crushed somewhat by a log, I believe. So, it's really hot and it's about midnight. Oh, no, it's okay. Hold on, second try. Cool down a little bit. Oh, okay. Alright, that's really hot. I'm going to wait till that fire dies down a little bit more. And then I'll uh, see if I can get it out. Hopefully it hasn't oxidised because I think it's, it being crushed has opened up a bit of more of uh, the air to it. So I think it's a good idea to get it out now. It's been in there probably in a hot fire for... Oh, a solid five hours at least. So it should be converted or oxidized, either one of the two. So we'll see. All right, so this is the container after being rather destroyed in the fire. You can see that the, I think the color of this solid has changed quite a bit. It's a lot lighter now than it was. I think it was quite a lot more brown. I'm not sure if you can really see that, but to me that looks quite different. Whether that's uh, because of the oxidation or um, the thing we want is, I don't quite know yet. Um, it's a bit annoying because I've got a bit of iron oxide that's fallen in from the side of the container, but I'm going to have to physically separate that out. But it's pretty low amount compared to the amount of cyanamide that we have in there. It's quite, the container got quite hacked up in the fire. I think a log must have really fallen on it. Um, it's quite a struggle to get the lid off, I had to use the hammer. I was worried I'm going to have to break out the angle grinder to get it open, but um, I didn't. So I guess now we're going to have to do some tests to see if we actually just completely destroyed this via oxidation, or it is what we want. Alright, so the test for cyanamide is adding some uh, free cyanamide to anamonical silver nitrate. So, we've got some silver nitrate in the left beaker. And we're just going to be adding a bit of this, the ammonia to it, just to get too complex. And then have some weak nitric acid here. I'll check in this beaker here. It's a small amount. And we're going to dissolve some of our proposed calcium cyanamide into that. Right, there's a lot of bubbles, which isn't a good sign. Alright, and then we'll add the 
proposed cyanamide solution to the silver and hopefully what we'll see is a yellow precipitate of the silver um, cyanamide or silver uh, something or other oh perfect that's beautiful oh that's a lovely yellow colour that's the yellow colour of success is what that is Reminds me of like lead iodide sort of colour. Look at that, that's perfect. That's exactly the colour we wanted. Alright, so good news. That means we've got free cyanamide. Well, calcium cyanamide. So, despite my early assumptions where I didn't think we'd have any um, cyanamide, look like we've over oxidised it, looks like we definitely do. So, I will proceed as if that is all cyanamide, which is probably a terrible assumption, but I have no way of easily measuring the ratio of carbonate to cyanamide. So, I'll push ahead. And excellent. So, next video will be hydrazine sulfate.